sometimes your investment may not really bring you to your financial goals the way you expected them to and that is why on today's video i'm gonna touch on so many things <laughs> having a financial advisor boosting your investment portfolio you know stick around after the intro okay <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for joining me once more if you are new here my name is Rosalyn already you're very much welcome do not forget the subscribe button you can click it now if you want or after you watch the entire video which I'm gonna still preach the same gospel never forget the notification bell <laughs> and uh, support me okay yeah all these things that you do even watching right now you're supporting my channel of the few books that I have read about building wealth, I have concluded that in as much as it is wise to seek advice from financial advisors or investment managers, in paper they are obligated to put my interest, my interest first or the client interest first. However, they may not always be honest. We are all born selfish, each of us seeking to protect our interests first before lifting a finger to help another. So presumably they are doing the same which is quite a normal response. On today's video, let's look at this in depth. Let's find out, is it worth it the fees that you are paying the financial, your financial manager? Are you getting results? Are you investing in the right way? Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I do research, a lot of it. I read a lot as well. Through that, I make this video. I learn something new and I share with you guys. So take this journey of financial growth with me. If you are targeting building wealth, making passive income, like maximizing your passive income, like me, then you need to know that a good investment comes with a good financial manager. I believe the biggest mistake of any new or upcoming investor is to heavily rely on the advice of a financial advisor or investment manager. It's also necessary for you to do your own research. Come prepared with some background knowledge. Since they are also investors just like us and their profession is to offer advice on money matters. So there will always be that probability of them championing their own agenda by advising you to indulge in investments that they benefit the most. Even though that investment may harm you in the long run. Therefore, just like they are seeking to build wealth like we are, Try and find out how they are also earning too. Because there are also those financial advisors that earn money by recruiting someone. They earn a commission through recruiting someone, like uh, insurance, meaning they may be working for a single company that they earn commission from or multiple companies that are paying them to promote that investment. The risk with this financial advisors is that they have little loyalty since their aim is to recruit as many people as they can for example i did mention insurance companies they do have offers on insurance and a financial advisor might advise you to enter into one to join one because they are earning a commission from it yet they may not really consider that insurance company as one they would want to invest with. Banks and uh, unit trusts like equity fund, money market fund and balanced fund. And we know this through CIC, Sunlam, Britam, Cyton, um, Old Mutual, there are so many. There are independent financial advisors whom you pay 
to offer advice on investment ideas. I believe that paying for the advice is also an investment of information. However, it's also wise to know that whatever investment you put your money into, they are legally allowed to earn a commission from it. Which is why it is highly unlikely that they would advise you to venture into an investment that is an investment that is likely to harm you or hurt your investment portfolio because this in turn will come to bite them. That hurt will extend to them too. Their recommendations is free from commission offered by other investment companies since they work exclusively hence their motivation is geared towards maximizing your returns now comparing these two kind of investment of uh, these two financial advisors and investment managers i believe that choosing an independent financial advisor is more beneficial as opposed to that who earns commission from recruiting you but let's not exclusively omit or eliminate the latter because we do not want to put all our eggs in one basket it's clear that a financial advisor or an investment manager is is employed by the company they earn a commission from through recruiting potential investors hence there will always be someone to do follow-up because even if the person who initially recruited you leaves that company or ceases to work for that company, the company will always be there. So you always have someone to talk to when you want to follow up on your investment. But then independent financial advisors don't offer this luxury. And that is why we need to ask certain questions like their credentials, their certificates, proof of past clients, their successful investments, how did they go, what is the plan, did they plateau, discuss in depth about the strategies they are using to invest, how do they get information, additionally find out about unsuccessful investments because there will always be two sides of the story. I do admit that not all of them will want to reveal some of these things, but ask anyway. You're putting your money into something, your hard-earned money into something. Better ask all the questions so that you can be at ease. Plan on how you can follow up on your investment and keep track. Ask about taxes. Are you losing? Are you winning? Is the offer available for a limited period of time? Is it available for a long time? If it's available for a short period of time, it could be a scam. Look into their tax profile. You are putting your money in there, so do not feel embarrassed to exhaust them with questions as much as possible. Do extensive research on your own and visit the institution if you can. Actually, do visit the institution to find out more so that you, you, can, so that you can compare notes. Check the website as well. Check the history of returns before putting up an investment with the financial manager or a financial advisor. Mm. Is it consistent? Does it fluctuate? Does it plateau? And why? Asking all these questions prevents us from being scammed. Keep in mind that you're going to depend on these investments and the earnings that come from it. And it's not gonna be for a short period of time, it's gonna be for a long period of time. So make a habit of checking the risk profile. Financial advisors and investment managers are advising you about these investments. They are letting you know about what's happening, what's going on, what people are getting into, what's new, what's old, what's performing well, what's not. But at the end of the day, it's just an advice. You make the decision. They do not make the decision for you. They are doing their part. So make sure you do your part too by doing proper background check. Because it is your responsibility to protect your hard and money. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. 
if you like the information that i have provided leave a comment below like share <laughs> support me in any kind of way that you can yeah just support me by liking sharing subscribing commenting because you have made it this far i appreciate you for increasing my watch time as well keep in mind i do have a playlist about growth in finance if you want you can check it out it's gonna be somewhere here guys i'm gonna see you again on friday i may post a video about growth in uh, youtube which i do post videos about that on mondays you can check also the playlist on my channel growth in finance like today and sometimes mental health awareness and i do also have a lifestyle playlist and a travel vlog if you want you can check all of them out i encourage you actually to do so so please want to check them out please want see you guys next time and bye bye mm.